Third time I'm trying to record this video. Gosh. Okay, so we're snorkeling a P500, Pioneer 500, um, Honda Small side by side. It's like a Rubicon with two seats. Um, I said that three times now. So this is uh, where it goes into um, the air box. So you got a, a street uh, two inch 90, regular 90, uh, five inch piece of two inch pipe, uh, two inch, two inch rubber coupler. So it takes out vibration and makes it so you take the snorkel off. Um, about a two inch piece of pipe just to get from here to the coupler. Uh, street 45 into a vent 45 into a regular 90. Let me show you how this looks from the sides. So you can get that right. Oh yeah, very clean. Um, and then a 14 inch piece of pipe, um, another regular uh, black ABS, two inch piece, um, 90. And then an 11 inch, two inch piece. And then the tops, the vent 90. A vent 90 is like the hard 90, right? And then a, a bolt there to hold it, two zip ties, very sturdy. Um, and we use white here because you never be able to see it and we're kind of low on ABS, hard to find in Florida. Uh, we also pulled all these boots out and sealed them up. Honda didn't even have them put in there right. This boot was folded, so major leak there. Got to yank the boot out, rip off all the Honda goop, and then put good black um, ultra black sealer. We did ultra black that, and then we relocated the crankcase breather mount from there to up there, which doesn't seem like a huge deal, but because this airbox is like sideways and leaning, get another gallon and a half of water in your airbox before it gets in your oil. So we had to extend that. We just sleeved it. Um, where it goes on the engine, that's the most important vent line on the bike. Always check that. Make sure you got that back on the engine, and I put some sealer on it. And then now we're doing the vent line. So gas tank runs up the roll cage right here with this very nice, high-quality, fuel-safe line. Not... Um, and this is how you keep the vents from getting water in a roll cage. So you squirt a slug of ultra black into the hose um, And then you cut a few slots almost like a shark bite pointing down So if it's in your roll cage and you wash it and water runs down over it. It won't go in there You've probably seen that in my razor video, but it's a good little pro tip there and then in the front we uh, Ran vent lines up the other hoses. So this is the this is the front diff runs up here Don't worry about drilling a little hole in your roll cage. It's more than strong enough. It's a Honda and this is the vent line for the fan. So run up each, all the way up there. Um, the radiator cap on this, the cap is, it breathes through the cap. So if you want to snorkel that, you got to put some O-rings on it and put a little barb fitting. Um, we didn't mess with that because getting a little water in the water is no big deal, but you know, whatever. And uh, so yeah, that's, that's gas. Over here is going to be um, the snorkel for the water pump because you got to snorkel that up or water or sand will get in your water pump seal and wear your water pump out. And in the rear diff, we're going to snorkel in here. And you want them all in separate pipes because you don't want gas in your oil or water in your gas or water in your oil or vice versa. So put one vent in each pipe and it's all very separated and very high flow. Um, in a second, I'll show you how this thing looks with the bed on it. It looks really nice. Also, we noticed uh, it's got this really goofy exhaust system on the P500. It comes out, does a turn, does a loop down here. And it's got this huge shield. Like, why does it have a huge shield? Look right there. Catalytic converter. Thanks, Obama. All right, so we got the back rack on, slash back plastics. They come out with uh, eight 12 millimeter bolts. See, it looks pretty clean. Can't see any of the white pipe anywhere. Very nice. It looks even better with the seat on it. Um, and this, there's a cover that goes in here, so you won't see those vacuum lines, but you can see this is the rear diff vent. So a couple of the vent lines a little bit, but with the seats on everything, it's really clean. And from the side, you can't even see the snorkel because it tucks completely into the space of the roll cage, which means you didn't waste any room for putting a cooler or a cow, or a bale of hay, or a Can-Am, you know, whatever you need to put on this back rack, it's ready to go. Definitely can see a Can-Am's front wheels being here and here, and just towing a Can-Am back from very far back in the bush. But yeah, it looks pretty good, and all the vent lines very professionally routed, lots of zip ties, the cuts are good. Oh yeah, and don't forget to um, dielectric grease your gasket on this one. Rubicons, you don't necessarily have to, but this doesn't have the extra little grippy in the center, so I recommend dielectric greasing uh, that. Yeah, but it's gonna be uh, gonna be ready to go in some deep water. We're gonna throw the 33-inch tractor tires on it. Um, it's gonna be cool.